College can be a tough transition from high school. Many students that arrive at college for the first time are overwhelmed by their new obligations on campus. These obligations can range from academics, extracurriculars, and more. To be successful through this transition, it is important to understand and utilize key strategies. Today, I will be covering time management and strategies to manage your time effectively. Now, let's get started. Managing your time can be difficult. Distractions can take up a lot of time that should be going towards productivity. They certainly affect me in my everyday life. One way to combat this problem is by setting alarms. Whether you get distracted or simply forget, it can never hurt to set an alarm. Most of the time, especially waking up for the day, I will set more than one. Sometimes one is not enough and that is completely okay. Setting a few that are five or 10 minutes apart from each other can help reinforce the reminder. Another thing that is important to remember is to make sure the volume of the alarm is high enough. One time, I did not realize that my alarm volume was too low. I ended up sleeping through the alarm and found out that I was late for school. You can never be too careful by checking the volume for each alarm. One of the most important strategies to implement in your college journey is prioritizing your work. If this is a trouble spot for you, not a problem. I have a solution. Get a planner, please. A planner will be your best friend in college. You will not regret the purchase. A planner has had the biggest contribution so far in my college journey. When you use a planner, I suggest looking at all the deadlines for each of your classes. You can then record them all in your planner in advance. When reviewing your planner in the future, you have a better idea of upcoming deadlines. While it is important to take away deadlines from the syllabus, it's important to read each syllabus you receive from a class. Each one discusses the teacher's expectations for each class. Understanding these expectations in advance will best prepare you for success. In one of my classes, there was an extra credit opportunity in the syllabus with a deadline to complete it. You never know what you may find in each one. When it comes down to managing your time, you need to make sure you have enough time to get all your work done. A great way to do this is by completing your work before engaging in fun activities. This can be hard sometimes. You might have friends that ask you to go out with them the night your assignments are due. Choosing to engage in fun activities before completing your assignments can lead to a negative impact on your grade. Procrastination is something that can creep up on you. You might not think you will procrastinate until it happens. We have all been there. Avoiding procrastination will provide you with enough time to fulfill your academic obligations. While it might not always be feasible, the effort of trying can still go a long way. When I complete all my work, I feel a great sense of accomplishment. Crossing off the tasks in my planner is something I love to do and strive for. Once it is all done, there's nothing else to worry about. I like to think of completing work as an effort that earned me the privilege of relaxing and having fun. Applying this mentality to your own life will go a long way and will make you a more successful student. I hope these strategies and words of advice were helpful. Remember this, time management will carry you beyond your college experience. Practicing good time management habits now will prepare you throughout the rest of your life. It will only make you better at it. Take care.